Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is James. And um, this video, I'm going to be showing the uh, maiden flight of the Barnstormer. Now, um, I don't wanna be a, a spoiler to it, but it was a successful flight. Um, I did the maiden flight, and then I did two additional flights after that. Um, the day, it was a few days back, we had sort of a Santa Ana condition here in Southern California, so it was a little bit windy. And I went out about midday, and it was a little bit gusty here and there, so I was kind of thought maybe I wouldn't actually do the maiden flight, um, I didn't want to chance it. But I went out there and I was standing there and it seemed like it was okay. But by the time I got to the, the final flight, what, what became the final flight, um, it was sitting, getting a little bit too choppy out there. So the plane was sort of up there bouncing around. So I decided to go ahead and call it good. And um, so that's what this video is gonna show. All right, so um, the plane did really well on its maiden flight. Um, it took off nicely. Um, it went up and I was flying and you know, just basically doing laps and I didn't do anything crazy. I had to give it a little bit of um, um, upward elevator. It was sort of dropping um, a lot when it first took off. So I had to sort of balance that out with a little bit of upward elevator. It was also rolling a little bit to the left. So I had to give it a little bit of right, um, put a little bit of right um, roll into the ailerons. But overall it, it flew really nice. Um, it is a trainer and it is built to fly slow. So <clears throat> it was flying you know, on the slow side. Um, the tail wheel modification that I did to it worked out really, really nice. It, um, I was able to control it on the ground. Um, I was able to taxi it around. So everything went really good with the flight for what could be expected. And I was really pleased and happy that I'm, the plane is sitting here in front of me and that I didn't have like a major catastrophe out there. But I did have a one problem. Okay, so the problem that I had is the way I videotaped the, the flights. So what I have is this, um, this is sort of like a GoPro. This is an eight man sport cam. And this goes on top of my head like this. It mount, you mount it on top of your head, it has this strap thing. And then you have to kind of figure out which way it's um, pointing. The problem that I had is that after I got through with my flights, I realized that even though I try to check it um, with my phone app, um, the camera was sort of pointing a little bit too high up. So a lot of the frames and a lot of the, the footage, the plane was actually flying just below the, the view of the camera, which really was really bummed me out. So out of the three flights, I basically cut them into clips and um, and really with the plane, it's small. So once it gets sort of out there, once, it's, once you take off and you get out and you're kind of doing your laps and it's on the outside leg, um, it really is really small, probably too small to be picked up by the camera very well anyhow. So I basically um, edited the videos for a lot of flybys and I got, a, I got several of them and they're pretty good. Um, I got a good takeoff, like on, I think on the second flight, and I got my landings. Again, they were kind of just just on the edges. So I do apologize for, for that. Um, I am gonna go out and uh, in my next flight, I'm gonna try to redo it and get some more, get some better flights, kind of work with the camera more. Um, this time I was trying to get it on camera, but I was really focusing on the plane. And um, so anyhow, um, so what you're about to see is gonna be just, the, just some clips from the, from the maiden flight and then the two other flights after that. And I think um, you'll see that it's still gonna be pretty good. You'll see the plane flying. And um, yeah, so it was fun. I'm, I'm glad it worked out. All right, so before I move on to the, the flight videos, I do wanna mention a couple things. One of them was that the plane got really mucked up with the um, exhaust coming off of the, um, off the engine. So I went and I purchased a, uh, this little exhaust extender. Um, this is by Hobby Co. I think Dubro really probably makes these. And all this is gonna, all this is is a little tube as you can see here, it's like a little a little tube that I can hook onto the attaches onto the um, onto the muffler, and it helps direct some of the exhaust um, a little bit further out from the plane. So I'm going to attach that on there before my next flight. Um, there is a little bit of cost associated with this because that muffles the engine even more, which can tend to make it a little bit um, a little bit weaker. Um, the other thing is that the the prop I used was a um, was a 10.5 or is a 10.5, and I think that was just kind of too slow. So I went and I got two, um, two new props. I got a 9.6 and a 9.8 um, from my local hobby, hobby store. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean. They got all these stickers on them or you know, from, the, from the, the store. So I'm gonna pull the stickers off and clean them up and I'll balance them and I'm gonna try. So for my next flight coming up, I'm gonna try using a 9.6 and a 9.8. Um, I think that's gonna speed the plane up a little bit. So I'm gonna give that a go. All right, so one thing I do wanna do is um, I purchased this small mini action cam camera. Now, I don't know that this brand is, I don't know, whatever it is, I think you can find these 
probably a lot of manufacturers make these. You can see them on Amazon and stuff. I think it was like $20, $25 or something. But it's a small sort of like just a cube um, shaped camera. And it is made for things like drones and other types of stuff. But I decided to go ahead and try the small one. I'm gonna try to get this mounted on this airplane and get some in-flight videos. Um, I have used like the, these uh, sort of GoPro size cameras on um, a few of my other airplanes, but they're bigger. So I like the Piper Cub I have sitting over here, which has an 80 inch wingspan. I have the Revolver 60, um, which is bigger also. So they can sort of handle this kind of a small camera like this, but I don't think this plane would fly too great with it. But I'm gonna go ahead and try this little dude right here. So I think one of my videos coming up is gonna be to go to pull this out, take a look at it and figure out how to mount it on top of here. So that's something I wanna do. Okay, so last thing, um, I have about five uh, scale um, kits sitting in my shelf over here. Um, these are older kits. Um, I have like a P-51 Mustang. I have a B-25 Mitchell. Um, I have a uh, like a bird dog, one of my favorite planes, the bird dog. Um, and I also have like a sport plane. And so I'm going to be doing more builds in the future. Um, it's gonna be probably a few weeks before I start sort of thinking about which one I wanna build. But that's gonna be coming up in some future um, future uh, videos. I do wanna figure out the best way to sort of film it. Uh, I, I, I think I spent a lot of time in detail on, on this build. And sometimes I'm trying to balance between too much detail and not enough detail. I think too much detail becomes boring. Not enough detail, then it becomes, you know, people don't wanna see it. So I have to try to, I'm still trying to find that balance. Doing the YouTube videos is new to me. And so I'm just going to keep kind of plugging away at it and see how I, how I do. Um, yeah, so please, like I said, if you like these videos, please uh, subscribe or give me a like. And also, you know, leave me your comments. I'll, I'll, I, I look at every comment I get um, and I try to respond to them. And uh, yeah, so I appreciate the comments. So anyhow, let's get on to the, to the maiden flight. Okay, well, today is going to be the maiden flight. Um, got, got the um, plane packed up in the back of the car. And I'll be heading out to the um, to the field here in a few minutes. It's kind of hot today. It's we got kind of Santa Ana winds going on, so hopefully it actually won't be windy out there. Um, so we'll see how it is. But I think I'm ready to go here. I got my fuel. I got my flight box all set up, and of course I got the plane. So all right, let's go ahead and head on out there and kind of see how we can do. Hopefully we'll do okay. I think I better bring him for good luck. Okay, well I'm out here um, near the um, runway. I'm gonna start the plane up. I did a couple of practice runs or just kind of break in runs again with the engine to make sure things was going good. Um, I got a little bit of wind out here, but it's not too bad. Um, I'm gonna take off to the to the south. The wind's kind of heading north. Hopefully I can do a couple, um, just a couple laps, see how it works. And then we'll set up for landing, start practicing our landings. And hopefully I can catch all this on, um, on my little uh, sport cam deal here which is going to be stuck on my head so hopefully it'll work out sometimes it's hard to get that lined up right but here we go let's go ahead and start it up and get this thing moving like i said hopefully i can get this on camera boy it moves a lot slower than i thought it was going to do Boy, she's going flying nice now. All right. That was sweet. 
All right, so that was a really, um, I'm really happy about that main flight. It turned out pretty well. I did have some trouble with my elevator. I had to give it some up elevator. Um, I did have to put a little bit more roll to the right into the ailerons. But overall, I think it worked out pretty darn good. It got up there, it flew nice and smooth. Um, yeah, this thing landed nice. So this is doing exactly what a trainer should do. I think that dihedral on the wing obviously makes things a lot easier too. There's a pretty strong dihedral. So overall, I'm really happy. And I think this was a successful main flight. I may try to do a couple rolls. Maybe I'll try to do a loop. We'll see how it holds up. Yeah.